I am Dr. Orpa Marasigan. Welcome to our press conference for Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ, uh, 50th anniversary. Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. Uh, we appreciate your coming and uh, you're helping us uh, release in the press <laughs> of the things that we want to say to them. And tonight we are uh, going to have a, uh, these handsome men come here and join us. Uh, our The reason why we're having this press conference is Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ is celebrating 50 years of its uh, existence in its ministry. And um, we want to have a wonderful celebration on November 13th. That's the, uh, we actually started the celebration last year in November, and November 30, 2015, will be the culminating activity for the one-year celebration. And we're hoping to have 10,000 people come to CCF, Christ Commission Fellowship Main Hall, on that day. Uh, so we're trying to look for uh, all the people whom we have uh, had uh, impact with in Campus Crusade, all our movers, alumni, and even our regular people in the churches. They, we want all the body of Christ to join us in this celebration on the 30th. So your role as um, our press people, our bloggers, uh, is, is very much appreciated in how you will help us gather these people on November 30th. So tonight, though, our main goal is to, sh to have these three men. Uh, we're still waiting for one guy. He's uh, now in standstill traffic in Robinson's Galleria. Hopefully, he will arrive soon. We have invited them to tell their stories. Our theme in the Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ celebration is changed to change. We were changed by the Lord in uh, in our uh, lives through our relationship with him and god has used our uh, the lives that were changed to help change others too so pero itong mga invited guests namin have wonderful stories to tell about how god used campus crusade in their lives and how god is using campus crusade where they are at now in helping change others bringing uh, they're bringing people uh, closer to the Lord. So we have different people from different walks of life. <laughs> so we will invite those guys to come here and so we can start. Uh, uh, we have Jerry Gambala, our friend Jerry. Uh, he will be here. Find your chair. <laughs> Maybe I will uh, exp share with you a little bit about them. But uh, you'll be excited to hear their story. See, Jerry, Jerry Gambala uh, has a wonderful wife and a son, <laughs> eight-year-old son and Jack, five years old. He's a graduate of Philippine Military Academy uh, in the class of 1995. He joined the Philippine Army and was assigned at Mindanao for eight years. If you have heard the Oakwood Mutiny, he is the brains. Of this, <laughs> with his partner, Senator Trillanes. Uh, he led the Oakwood Mutiny last July 27, 2003. He was convicted and sentenced, well, he will tell his story, uh, for 50 years for the crime of coup d'etat. But by the Lord's um, will, he was given a presidential pardon in the year 2008. He is now uh, working as a, a missionary Yes, in the in the graduate of international, he's a graduate of the International Graduate School of Leadership, formerly International School of Theology, uh, where he took up a master master's in transformational leadership in 2012. So now he's the operations operations leader of IGSL, that seminary. No, so welcome, Paul Jerry. Gambala. And then, of course, we have uh, Sir, Mom, Sir Chief Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Pangilinan. Yay. Yay! Thank you, Anthony, for coming. We'll have you sit down in your spot. Anthony, you probably all know, is a management trainer 
motivational speaker, and productivity consultant. He has conducted and attended training in probably more than 50 countries all over the world. In various capacities, he leads a myriad of organizations. His, his email address is Chief Disturber. He, he disturbs people mm. in the way they run their business or management. So he's good at that. <laughs> And he's an events company, and he has an events company called Business Works. And the president of the parenting company, uh, he's also chief trainer of Inspire Leadership Consultancy. And many, many more. I think the best introduction, though, is he's married to a beautiful, lovely wife, Marisa Laksa, and belongs to the successful Pangilinan family. So let's welcome Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. Yay! By is uh, Dr. Michael Chang. He's a doctor in St. Luke's. And his expertise is? Mama, Mama yeah, he will tell us. <laughs> uh, but he's a graduate of, he's one of our alumni in Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ. All these gentlemen are connected with Campus Crusade for Christ in, in many ways than one. So we will try to hear their story. Okay, so. Maybe we can start. I see F. Ay, sino pa? F. Yeah. For me. Of course. Yes, he will join us in the panel. Effie for me is our. I apologize. I forgot. Effie for me is our youth leader development. Uh, leader leadership development and human resources uh, development department of Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ. It's a, graduate of the University of the Philippines. Okay, so um, Siguro we will start uh, Siguro, we will start tonight by ask, letting them answer two questions muna. How has, Camp Philippine, how has Campus Crusade for Christ uh, been introduced to you? Tatlo siguro questions. And how has it impacted your life? In other words, how have you, how were you connected with Campus Crusade? And then, how has God used you to change and impact the lives of others? We will start with Anthony because he has to leave, <laughs> but he, he has all this time now. Anthony, how has God used, how have you been introduced to Campus Crusade, Mona? And then, how has God used Campus Crusade in your life? Okay, so. Uh Okay. How did God introduce Campus Crusade? To you. To how me? were you introduced to Campus okay. Crusade? Well, okay. In my case, Campus Crusade forced itself upon me. <laughs> forced itself? Forced itself upon me. Why? As in talagang tinutukan ako, hindi ako, hindi ako iniwanan, di ba, kinulit ako sa UP. And for me, I really didn't want to be affected by it. I avoided Campus Crusades and its missionaries for the longest time. <laughs> Ang maganda kasi dyan, uh, mayapang pa naman ako, pero mayapang ako doon. Sobrang yapang as a non-Christian. Feeling mo busy ka, dahil mo activities, di ba? You're head of this and head of that. So, feeling ko superman ako. Tapos yung lumalapit sa akin taga Campus Crusade, ang pangalan niya, Krypton. <laughs> so siyempre, kung Crypto. ikaw si Superman, di ba? Tapos ah. lalapit ka ng Krypton. Siyempre, ayaw mong lumalapit. Ayaw mong gusto mong <laughs> iwasan, di ba? But he pinned me down. I was so weak. Siyempre, Kryptonite, di ba? And then he shared the gospel in Business Island. College of Business Island. And forget Krypton, the gospel made sense. So I accepted the Lord. Through crypto. Through crypto. Uh huh. What year was that? Eighty five, seguro. Ninety okay. five. Okay. But then nothing happened yeah. apart from my salvation, which is the story of many Christians. Uh, until after one year, when it was followed up by camp uh, by CCF. But okay. I know the seed was planted. So that's been the story of my life when it comes to CCC. Talaga hindi ako pinapayaan. So, kahit sa love life, dahil kay Ate Orpa, <laughs> diba? when I met Maricel, you know, I wanted to know the Lord, but I knew that it 
was not my role, so I passed her to Orpa. <laughs> so si Orpa ang first disciple. Uh, for, si Maricela ang like, first, no. Orpa was the first mentor to my wife. So thank you again for that. Thank you. And then every area na, business, and then, you know, until today, whenever I conduct programs, may mga taga CCC, na nagko-commento ano biblical foundation ang kukulit talaga <laughs> diba? <laughs> and then just the other night so yes! I noticed it that was about oh, it. the other night as I was given the privilege to host this event with Manny Pacquiao and Pastor Amir on the signs of the times no? which is an artist in touch event. artist in touch event which is a campus crusade for Christ's ministry so whether it was my old salvation my marriage my training business, career somehow in media, yun na. Ang kulit, no, ng Campus Crusade. So, mukhang kasama ko na to from, ano, boom to two. <laughs> so, Amen. it's a constant, it's a constant foundation and pillar in my life. Mm -hmm. So, paano ginamit ng Panginoon naman yan to change the lives of others? Well, you can't pour out unless you pour in, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, ang foundations ko talaga, nagsimula sa Campus Crusade. And so, when Campus Crusade invested in me, mm -hmm. so 23, my cup was filled. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and when it was filled, it had to overflow. So if you, if you take time, or even maybe just take my word for it, whether it's about our ministry parenting mm -hmm. and marriage, which started with your mentorship of Maricel, that has been a ministry that started with Campus Crusade. Right. Or when you talk about teaching, you know, and the study of the word, which we've done for media and for showbiz personalities, a foundation on Campus Crusade, you know? mm -hmm. diba? So for me, Campus Crusade has been a foundation and has been a constant partner in, in making sure that I am filled with the word and with mentors to guide me so that I can in turn fill others and mentor others. Yeah, amen. Great. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, That's why I could not miss this. For <laughs> yung pa para lang mapunta dito ang kukulit ng mga taga CCC <laughs> para magatend ngayon. <laughs> Pero God di ang pagkakulit. So, okay. No? <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. Siguro in the, in the, many of you are asking where is this campus crusade? What, who, who are we really? What do we do? And I missed out on introducing to you Effie for me. And Effie will tell us more, a little bit more about what Campus Crusade is and what we do. All right, magandang hapon po. Uh, gabi pa lang sa inyong lahat. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, I, I actually was in uh, third year high school. I was 15 years old when I encountered Campus Crusade for Christ. One student from UP Diliman went to our high school, uh, along Katipunan, and uh, shared with me this booklet, The Four Special Laws. Of course. And, uh, it was through this booklet that I first understood that uh, Christ's love for me, His death on the cross, was enough to save me from sin and death. And I became involved with CCC from high school and up to college in Bipidiliman uh, from 1985 to 89. And after that, I a full-time missionary who was on Campus Crusade for Christ. So what is Campus Crusade for Christ? Very briefly. Uh, CCC actually began in 1951. It was started by an American couple named Bill and Bonnet Bright at UCLA. In the Philippines, Campus Crusade for Christ started in 1965 at the University of the Philippines and at the University of Manila. And um, right now at present, CCC has about over 190 countries where it is present. What is the mission of Campus Crusade for Christ? Uh, it's actually founded on Matthew 20, 18 to 20, where Jesus said, Go and make disciples of all nations. So that's the key verse. And pag isipin ko yung mga slogans ng Campus Crusade for Christ, reflect yung mission and vision ng organization. 
Uh, noon naririnig namin yung sinasabi ni Bill Bright, Come, help change the world. In fact, he wrote a book with that same title. And we believe in changing the world through the gospel of Christ. Noon sinisigaw namin sa UB, change lives equals change society. We believe that a genuine transformation can only happen in the heart through Jesus Christ. Meron din kaming slogan na, win the campus today, win the world tomorrow. Naniniwala kami na important yung sector yung mga sadyante. That if they are rich with the love of God and if they experience transformation, they will become leaders who will make a difference in whatever sector of society. Uh, pero hindi lang po kami sa campus. Ngayon po nag-expand po ang campus for Save for Christ in different areas. In fact, meron kami tinatawag na seven mountains of influence. Uh, these are the family, education, religion, government, business, arts and entertainment, media, where we want to actually penetrate to bring the gospel of Christ. And um, yung purpose po ng Campus Crusade for Christ is to launch spiritual movements in every sector of society. And the process or strategy is win people to Christ, build them and train them in their faith, and send them out to win, build, and send out the students. And our priorities are students, leaders, churches, and the digital strategy. Online is one of the major avenues right now for us to share the gospel. So, um, yun lang po ang brief introduction uh, of Campus Crusade for Christ. My friend Ace will show us uh, a couple of videos.